Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video today all about lever class, where we're going to talk about what a lever is and how can we figure out if it's a first class, a second class, or a third class lever. Now, if you think about levers in general, it's a pretty simple, simple machine. All a lever is, is just a rigid bar that we use to exert pressure or sustain a weight and we have some sort of an effort force related to a fulcrum. So every single lever that we're gonna come in contact with has three things. It's got a fulcrum, which we can also call a pivot, just like we have over here. It has a resistance force, so something we're trying to lift or something resisting our effort. And then the third thing is our effort force, so something we're pushing down, maybe sitting on, trying to pull, or something like that. Now to determine what type of lever or what class of lever we're dealing with, we can use FRE, fulcrum resistance effort. And that correlates exactly to a first class lever, second class lever, third class lever. So what you need to do is identify which of those three things is in the center, and that will automatically tell you if it's a first class, a second class, or a third class lever. So let's check out some examples as we go through. Let's look at this first one right here. So we see we have our effort force, our applied force, we have our fulcrum or our pivot, and we have our resistance force. So to determine what class of lever that is, if we identify the item that's in the middle, in our case is the fulcrum, all we have to do is look up, Say fulcrum correlates to our first class lever, which makes this guy an example of a first class lever. Now keep in mind, we could flip flop the, the resistance force and the effort force and it's still a first class lever. We can move our fulcrum anywhere as long as it's in between, we can move our forces. As long as your fulcrum's in the mil middle, that's a first class lever. So if we think about some examples, this is typically the most common thing that we actually think about um, if you're trying to jack up a car, potentially use a lever for that. If you use a crowbar, that's an example of a first class lever as well. Now let's move to our next one right here. And again, using our FRE as an example, we have our effort, we have our resistance, and we have our fulcrum. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, all right, I have my resistance force. That's the thing in the center. And if we look at it, our FRE, our resistance, means that we have a second class lever, just because our resistance force is in the center. Boom, second class lever right there. Now some examples, what that might be, um, is something like a wheelbarrow. If you have your pivot, which are typically your wheels on the wheelbarrow, your resistance force is whatever you're loading inside that wheelbarrow, and then your effort is what you are pulling up and actually moving. Now let's go to the last one. I think you can already figure out what kind of a, what class of lever this is going to be. We have our resistance force, we have our effort force, and we have our fulcrum. And all we have to do is say, alrighty, our effort force, that is the thing that's in the middle. So if I look at my FRE, since my effort force is in the middle, that is a third class lever. Boom. And an example of a third class lever would be a something like a baseball bat. If you're swinging to hit a baseball or a softball, your fulcrum or your pivot is going to be your wrists, your hands, because that's kind of where you're, you're rotating, potentially your elbows and your shoulders as well. Um, the effort is the force that you are applying, and on the end of your bat is probably that baseball. Um, and for third class levers, your mechanical advantage is always less than one. So what that means is you need to put a lot of force to actually swing and hit that ball, but the trade-off is a lot less distance. So when you are trying to determine your lever class, always think of FRE, fulcrum resistance effort, because that will automatically tell you the thing that's in the center correlates to your first your second and your third class lever. 